I want to highlight one of the difficulties with the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics with a bet. Uh, if you'll recall, the many worlds interpretation says that uh, for every quantum result that can lead to different answers, uh, different positions of an electron on a screen, uh, different combinations of energy levels, different polarizations of, of radiation emitted, you know, whatever quantum system, anytime probabilities show up, which is all the time, that there is a different universe for each one of these results. That way we get rid of the measurement problem because it's all just quantum particles interacting, interacting with other quantum particles, but we just section off the universe with these different results. So here's a bet. Let's say I put you in a box and I set up some quantum process like the radioactive decay of some isotope. It doesn't matter. The, the details don't matter, but there's a 50-50 chance. 50% chance that it will release a poison gas and you'll die. That's right, I'm turning you into Schrodinger's cat. 50% chance you'll live. Would you take the bet? Of course you're gonna say no, that's stupid. Okay, let's sweeten the deal. Uh, let's say if you live, I give you a billion dollars and I literally have a billion dollars. Like you can, you can see it, I've got the suit briefcases full of, of unmarked $100 bills, they're all crisp, but you can verify, you checked with the treasury, it's all, it's all valid. There is a room full of a billion dollars right there. You just have to go in a box, spend the night, and I'll do this when you're asleep so you don't suffer anything, there's no pain or anything, you'll just go to sleep like normal, and either you will die in your sleep or you will wake up a billionaire. Would you take the bet? Probably not. And even if you did take the bet, you would be worried about it. You would be concerned about it because you're like, yeah, there's a 50-50% chance, 50 chance I'll die. Yeah, there's a 50% chance I'll wake up a billionaire, but there's a 50% chance I'll die in my sleep. Why is that bet so uncomfortable? Because the probability of you dying seems real. It seems like you have to grapple with it. It seems like you have to contend with this very real possibility that you will die. Now there's a very real possibility that you'll be a billionaire, but you can't get around the fact that there's a very real possibility that you'll die. But in the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, every universe is realized. Every quantum possibility becomes its own universe. So if we were to perform this experiment, put you in the box, do the decay of the radioactive isotope, it doesn't matter, 50-50 chance, in one universe, you die. You do not wake up in the morning. In the other universe, you do wake up and you are handed a billion dollars. You won't be around to experience the universe that you die in. You're literally dead. You will not wake up. You will only, you personally will only experience the universe where you do wake up and become a billion dollars, a billionaire. You're guaranteed to wake up in a universe, a billionaire. You are guaranteed in the many worlds interpretation. You will close your eyes, wake up and be a billionaire. You are guaranteed to do that because there is a guaranteed outcome that that will happen. The other one of you, the other universe, the, the copy of you that died, you don't, you're not around to experience it. So you are guaranteed to wake up a billionaire. So why don't you take the bet? Why hasn't anyone taken the bet? Why? This is one of the difficulties with the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which is how do you go from the probabilities of quantum mechanics and, and the fact that these probabilities and the randomness appear to be real, how do you square that with the fact that there are guaranteed outcomes? How do you link that? In quantum mechanics, the probabilities appear as just a postulate, as just, yeah, the universe is random, get over it. In the Copenhagen interpretation, interpretation, that's how it's handled. It's just, yeah, the universe is random, move on. Stop worrying about it. But the many worlds interpretation doesn't have that option because it doesn't have the mechanism for generating the probabilities built into the interpretation itself. Now, people have worked on it, uh, but there's been no universally agreed upon satisfactory answer for how do you get probabilities out of a process that only seems to generate guaranteed results? 
how do you recover the Born rule of quantum mechanics? How do you recover uh, the probability distributions that we are able to measure as a, a, an apparent facet of reality from this concept of constantly splitting universes? And speaking of these uh, constantly splitting universes, on one level, it's cool to think about the many worlds interpretation. Uh, think about any choice you've made. Think about any random thing that's ever happened to you. It's cool to think that somewhere out there, in some abstract sense, there is a version of you that is making the other choice, that went to that other college, that asked that person out on a date, that uh, you know stood up to that bull, you know, whatever, that, that had you know, spaghetti for dinner instead of meatloaf. Like there's a version of you that is experiencing those parallel lives. And that's pretty cool to think about. But that's not the end of it in the many worlds interpretation. In many worlds interpretation, every quantum interaction is leading to this splitting of a universe. So it's not just your choices that are leading to different universes. Every fusion reaction in the core of the sun relies on the probabilities of quantum mechanics and there are different choices that how those fusion reactions can, can unfold. Every single one of those is leading to its own copy of a universe. If I get in my car and drive to the grocery store, in my engine of my car, there are countless quantum mechanical interactions that depend on probabilities. And yeah, the probabilities or the different actions, the different choices are inconsequential. A particle goes left instead of right, goes up here instead of down there. But every single one of those options becomes realized in the many worlds interpretation. And not just for that engine during that trip, but it creates an entire copy of the whole entire universe. Every single quantum interaction leads to a splitting of the entire cosmos. So right now, as you are listening to this, every quantum act action happening throughout the universe, every fusion reaction in every single star, every collision of air molecules, every computation being performed in the semiconductors of your electronic device, every single one is leading to its own copy of the universe. So you yourself are being split into quadrillions of copies every single picosecond. The numbers are, are almost unimaginable. Every quantum interaction happening throughout the universe is leading to a complete split of the entire universe, and it's happening all the time. Now, we can't use this to say many worlds interpretation is wrong. It, it seems a little weird, but you know what? There's weird stuff happening with the Copenhagen interpretation too. But it does take a certain level of, uh, of commitment to the idea that there are these constantly branching universes. That there isn't just a version of you that had spaghetti instead of meatloaf last night for dinner. There are right now a trillion upon trillion upon trillion copies of you being made right now where the only difference between the universe is that some random particle in the Andromeda galaxy went this way instead of that way. And otherwise the universes are completely the same. That's a lot. And it makes you wonder how you can maintain a continuity of consciousness because our experience of the natural world takes time to unfold and process. But if our selves or our, our own conscious experience is being split constantly every single second, how do we maintain that through line? How do you maintain the sense of you even though you are constantly being split all the time? Again, this doesn't like rule out the many worlds interpretation, but it does show that the many worlds interpretation has weaknesses just like the Copenhagen interpretation. And that's the way it is. Quantum mechanics is challenging to interpret. Thank you so much for watching pmsutter.com or sorry, patreon.com slash pmsutter. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.